Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander health workers belong to a unique profession, one which truly reflects the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander view of health. That is, not just physical health, but the spiritual, emotional and cultural well-being of the whole community. Wachopra Health Service is a community-controlled organisation in Cairns. It started 31 years ago and now employs over 180 people. Health workers in Wachopran are the first contact point for Aboriginal clients and perform a vital care coordination role. My position here at Wachopran um, Women's and Child and Maternal Health is um, team leader. I've been a health worker for 16 years now and I gained all my experience in the Torres Straits at Bardo Island Primary Healthcare. So we practically did everything what nurses did, like cannulation, suturing, and being on call and doing medivac retrievals and all that kind of stuff. Hi, I have an appointment at 11. Today, Mali came to see me and she came in for a first antenatal check. Thank you. We look at the holistic health of that person. We just don't look at what they present. Hi, Molly. Do you want to come in? Yep. Okay. I'll do the clinical stuff like the observations. They check a blood pressure. And then we'll sit down and have a chat. How are you today? Well, thank you. My name's Tamana. I'm the Aboriginal health worker here. Some people are really shy. Like if they see somebody that's um, like non-indigenous, they'll, they'll withdraw straight away. You know what's gonna be done when you're here, like, for your checkup? Um, no, just to check on my belly. So I'll be um, we're doing a screening today um, before you see the doctor and we'll take the bloods to check you yourself and Bob as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mali, um, I'll start to um, your temperature, then your blood pressure. It's more of cultural appropriateness that an Indigenous health worker should see to a client before they passed on to another health professional. If they see somebody that's non-Indigenous, they'll withdraw straight away. They feel more comfortable and they open up more when you're asking um, them really personal questions. They'll tell you more. So that's good blood pressure. Oh, good. Very good. Like if that information is already in there and the, the doctors or the nurses just take it from there. Every antenatal visit we've got to keep an eye out for gestational diabetes. It's really common in Indigenous women. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Yep, that's very normal. Mm -hmm. Then I'll broaden yeah, that process, like ask a questions outside from a comfort zone. Do you have any problems at home that, um, that are worrying you? Um, you well, got to watch them, how they're reacting. Uh, if their body language is not comfortable, um, then you choose not to ask um, to personal questions. Like, not to talk too much, you let them speak. Then as the screening process goes, they'll open up and talk more. Well, I'm no longer with my partner. We look at the environmental factors, like the social issues. I don't have anyone to support me. Okay. No friends, no, no. Um, sisters? No, or... I just moved to Cairns. Oh, so you're fairly new in Cairns and yeah. it's all a new environment? Yeah, um, I don't know anyone and I'm living by myself. We've got services um, happening here at Woodchopper and we've got a program called Australian Nurse Family Partnership oh, okay. and it's for first time mums and because um, you're 22 weeks pregnant you would be eligible um, oh, okay. to participate in that. Yeah. Um, they visit every two weeks during your pregnancy mm -hmm. and after you have Baba and yeah. they'll, they'll do follow up every two weeks. Okay, Mali, would you like um, to be part of this program, the Australian Family Nurse Partnership? Yeah, yeah, it sounds good, mm -hmm. but um, I don't know how my parents would fit into it because, yeah, I don't speak with them and they don't know anything about me being pregnant. Ah, uh, so you haven't spoken to your parents as yet? No, and because they're not happy with my mm -hmm. previous partner. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
Maybe what we can do is um, bring your mom along okay. and that she can sit in um, when you're having your checkup and like slowly, slowly get her involved with your pregnancy. That would be good because I am worried about my baby. But um, yeah, mm. just because I'm stressing out, I need to talk to someone about my mm. family problems at home. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to, if you had any information on who do I would see. Like when I finished with her, when she sees the midwife, the midwife discusses this further. Like she'll, she'll ask more questions that more beyond like that I don't ask. Then from there, when she goes to the doctor, then, um, then the doctor will talk about everything that we've, um, we've seen Mali for him. They'll discuss the whole, whole process of um, her journey through the center. Mali, I've got some information here for you to take on. Um, it's about the services that we provide here at Amu um, Chopran. That's just oh, okay. some information on social health. Yeah. You can contact this number. I'll take this one home. Okay, if you have a read through that. Yeah. When I first started working here at Woodchopper and I found it really different because I came from the Torres Straits and it's different back home and like on the mainland, like English um, is not my first language, like English is my third language, I speak uh, my native tongue. And I found that really hard in Kananara. Like, they speak their own language and just asking for basic stuff like um, uh, urine. Um, it took me an hour just to try and get that urine off that client. Uh, yeah, language barrier was um, really challenging. Okay, I'll book uh, an appointment for you for next week to come back for your second um, antenatal check. So um, what time would be um, appropriate for you? I would encourage um, anyone to become a health worker. And if, so if we can, we can come and sit down with you and talk to you about safety in the house for baby. Is that all right? A lot of our people, they don't access the services. And health workers, um, you're kind of in the front line and you go to their homes and you talk to them and you encourage them to come and access the services. Yeah, come visit our office. Yeah. Yeah, kind of thank you. Thank you. Thank you for Next week, um, we'll uh, follow through, like, review what we've done um, today. Um, the good thing about it is they put you through training and upskill you. Once you've done a certificate three, then when you come back in the workforce, you do more advanced stuff like taking bloods and uh, by doing practical things, it, it lifts your self-esteem, like you want to do more of it. And uh, it also um, it gives you the confidence to do things that out of your scope that you have never done before. Yeah, yeah I really enjoy being a health worker. All right, well, thank you okay. for your time. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. So I'll see you next we'll week. Yeah, we'll do it.